This may come as a shock, but I used to love 10 step routines and natural skincare, and I used to get a ton of products from Lush. So I'm gonna go through my favorite old products from Lush and see if I would still buy them now. Ultra Bland Cleansing Balm. I liked this, but I don't think it emulsified. Absolute no. Movis Soap. This is a bread soap. I remember it being not super drying, but bread in a soap, still absolutely not. Let the Good Times Roll Exfoliator. I would absolutely use this again. It smelled so good. It's like a physical exfoliant product, but it smelled so amazing. It was like sweet, delicious hot. Corn. I don't know how to describe it. It was so amazing. The tea tree water toner. I've graduated from tea tree for acne. That's a no. Grease lightning was like acne spot serum. Again, like tea tree for acne. Like I've graduated from that now. Full of grace solid serum. This smelled disgusting and it was a solid serum. So it was very, very oily and it did not help with acne at all. It's a hard no for me now. Cosmetic warrior mask. I think this smelled like garlic and it did nothing. Hard no. And Zimian moisturizer. I remember always waking up very, very oily when I used this product. No. The Enchanted Eye Cream. I don't really use very basic eye cream. No for me. The Sunblock. This was a crazy product. It was chemical UV filters in cocoa butter sticks with some essential oils and calamine. You're supposed to put it on your body and then rinse it off. It was so greasy. It made no sense. For me, it's a no. Please let me know your natural product horror stories and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.